All right, going to show you from the Word of God that the Holy Scriptures trump Catholic traditions, and that the Holy Scriptures are supposed to be the standard, not Catholic traditions of men, or Catholic, you know, papal traditions, or papal bulls, or writings of church fathers, or, or saints, Catholic saints, which are really just simply Greco-Roman heathen gods repackaged, because that's all that Roman Catholicism is, just Greco-Roman heathen religion repackaged. And their gods became, you know, the, the saints, and then Mary became obviously, you know, Venus or Diana, or, or sorry, Diana of the Ephesians became Mary, you know, uh, what's it, Zeus became essentially God the Father, or who they call God the Father. That's all it is, just pagan religion repackaged. But going to show you that the scriptures are the final standard, not traditions of men. Okay, first turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 6. And these things, brethren, have I in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. Not to think of men above that which is written. Not to think of church, church fathers or church traditions above the word of God. Because if you do that, you're thinking of men above that which is written, which is something Catholics are very guilty of. Colossians 2.8 Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Again, something Catholics, the Catholic Church is very guilty of. Spoiling you through philosophy, vain deceit, after the rudiments of the world, traditions of men. Not the Holy Scriptures, but traditions of men that were invented hundreds of years after Scripture was completed, after the canon of Scripture was closed at the end of the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 22. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the traditions of men. Oh, no, it doesn't say that. If any man speak, let him speak as the church uh, fathers or the church tra traditions. Nope. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability w which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. When you're speaking, speaking as the oracles of God, not as the traditions of men, not as the holy church traditions, the oracles of God, the scriptures. That's the standard. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the traditions of the church fathers. Nope. Uh, the prince, first principles of the oracles of God, and are become of su such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. That's the, the standard. The first principles of the oracles of God, not of the church, the holy church. The oracles of God. That's that's their final standard. That's for the standard of, of faith and practice. And I say practice in a very like serious sense, practice. If you, because a lot of the Protestants, too, a lot of the Baptists also, are guilty of doing a lot of things that are unscriptural. So they are Bible-believing, uh, but they're not Bible-believing in all matters of faith and practice. They do believe the, the fundamentals of the faith, so they are Bible-believing in terms of faith, but not in terms of practice. Because a lot of things they do are unscriptural. You know, the whole Sunday worship, the whole, you know, uh, all that stuff, the altar calls, the steeple, you know, the, the whole church building thing being like some kind of holy place, none of that is scriptural. So they are, in terms of faith, Bible-believing, because they believe in the fundamentals of the faith, but they're not Bible-believing in practice. Acts 17, verse 11. These were no, more, more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the traditions of the fathers daily. Oh no, it doesn't say that. And searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. 
They search the scriptures, not the traditions of the church, the church fathers, because the scriptures, they know the scriptures are the standard for faith and practice. Like for uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15 to 17 says, you know, the scriptures are able to make thee wise unto Jesus Christ. They're, they're uh, profitable for doctrine, for proof, for correction. They're the ones that are, the scriptures are sufficient for faith and practice. If you read about that in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15 to 17, and Hebrews 5, 12 is a good passage on, or good scripture on that too. That's the standard, not Catholic traditions of men, not the popes, not the, the church councils, but the holy word of God is our standard for faith and practice, and always has been and always will be. That simple. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.